Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today on Cooking Up Love, we are making easy and delicious cheesy chicken tetrazzini casserole with pasta, chunks of chicken, and sauteed mushrooms in a creamy sauce that has lots of flavor. And I finish it off with buttery panko crumbs and more parmesan. This is definitely one of our favorite baked pasta dishes. And I like to serve it with cheesy garlic bread and a big fresh salad. Take a look at our ingredients and I've also listed them in the entire recipe in the description box below. This pasta casserole is so simple and it doesn't take much time to get into the oven. Start by cooking up your pasta according to the package instructions. While the pasta is cooking, I'm going to cook the chicken thighs. To make this even faster, you can use rotisserie chicken. Mix a half cup of flour with a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. Then dredge the chicken in the flour. Melt one tablespoon of butter in a large non-stick skillet and brown the chicken. I'm cooking these in two batches so the chicken isn't crowded and it gets nice and crispy. And I'll add another tablespoon of butter and begin adding in the second batch as the first finishes. While the chicken is cooking, go ahead and slice up about 8 ounces of mushrooms and I'm slicing them about a quarter inch thick. Once the chicken is browned, remove it from the pan and add a tablespoon of butter. Add the sliced mushrooms and saute until they're softened. Then add a half teaspoon of thyme, a half teaspoon of onion powder, and a half teaspoon of garlic powder. Stir this all together and cook for about a minute. Then add a quarter cup of white wine. Cook this for another minute or two and then add any remaining dredging flour. If you're using a rotisserie chicken, add about a quarter cup of flour here. Stir it to incorporate and then cook on medium low for about two minutes. Begin adding the chicken stock a little at first and stir so that no clumps form as it mixes with the flour and the mushrooms. Then add the remaining stock and one cup of heavy cream. Bring this sauce mixture to a simmer and let it cook for about five to 10 minutes to reduce and thicken. Taste the sauce and add salt and pepper to your personal taste. I'm adding another half teaspoon of pepper. If you're new to our channel, we'll show you how to make homemade food that's easy and delicious and perfect for sharing with everyone you love. I'd love to have you join us every week when we share new recipes. Subscribe to find out when we've posted a new one. While the sauce finishes, chop up the chicken thighs into chunks. And you can make these bite size. I'm keeping mine a little chunkier today. Back to the sauce, it's reduced by about half, which is perfect. We don't want to reduce this too much because it's going to soak into the noodles a bit as it bakes. Add in a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese and stir to melt it into the sauce. To assemble, layer the pasta into a 13 by 9 inch baking dish. Then spread the chicken across the top of the noodles. And spoon the sauce evenly over the top. To finish, I'm toasting up some panko crumbs in the same skillet. Just wipe out any remaining cream sauce. Spray the panko with an oil spray and cook over medium-high for a few minutes until they're golden brown. 
Sprinkle the breadcrumbs over the casserole. Top with some Parmesan cheese and then into a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. This chicken tetrazzini casserole is such a wonderful comfort meal and is perfect for making ahead of time for busy days. I think you're going to love how easy, cheesy, and delicious it is. If you like this recipe, consider sharing our channel with a friend. And if you love to entertain, check out our Potluck Favorites playlist. And here's another recipe that I think you'll like. I'll see you in the next video.